Hello and welcome. Now what I want to talk about today is the anti-aggression system. I get a lot of messages, direct messages, emails and comments about this system, the anti-aggression system, or other names it can come under. But we, in my profession of workplace violence, know it as the anti-aggression system. Now I've worked in the security industry for many years. I'm heavily involved in it because security is linked to staff safety. So I uh, work with security companies, I evaluate security companies, I work with my clients for tendering, and obviously the boards to see who would be the successful company to take over. And we have obviously certain standards. The CCTV world in itself, as you will see from past videos, is, I've been involved with for many years. In my opinion, I work with some of the best CCTV monitoring services around. I do. I think they're amazing. The technology has advanced. Um, where we're looking at more uh, movement cameras, patrol cameras, night vision has gone um, unbelievable. And now with the anti-aggression, which means that they can talk to somebody and hear what the person is saying, is outstanding. Now, do you, in to some cases, and some people will definitely say the decline of physical security, and um, we can discuss and argue all the time about whose fault it is, because obviously the training changed a lot in the security industry and put people off, licensing put people off. It made it very difficult for the average person sometimes to want to come into the security, and then with low pay, but again, that's a total different video. The anti-aggression system has taken over a lot. And I'm seeing more and more of my clients in both hospitality, retail, even in high risk roles in reception areas have asked, can I get involved and see what, what would be the best system to be put in place? Now, what is an anti-aggression system? Well, the easiest way to explain, it's a responsive camera. You put a specific camera within, let's say a store, and it observes the area of the store. It's not on constantly, and what happens is, is if the staff member activates what we would call a clicker or a dongle or a button on the counter, even in part of the till area now, it will alert somebody in the control room of a monitoring station. They hear the alarm, it flicks onto their screen, they can then see that Pacific store, and they can see what's going on. Now, depending on how the staff are trained, um, in the context of signalling the actual monitoring station, it could be hand gestures, it could be doing certain actions, or it could be seen straight away by the person in the monitoring station seeing that there is an incident. And then the operator, again, in the monitor station, will give a set of instructions. Actually ask the person to leave, give a description if needed, and inform they'll inform the Gardaí corner, the PSNI, or if it was on any of England, Scotland, or Wales, the police in respective. And then obviously this has been recorded to be used as evidence. It's pretty good. And the response times have come down. I've seen them down to nearly three to five seconds from when the person has hit the actual button for the, obviously the operator to respond to that. There's a vast more information on the anti-aggression systems. But what I would suggest is this. If you are doing your security review and you realize um, within your, obviously your risk assessment that you see this CCTV system will be an advantage to you. Even in certain cases, I've been told it can cut down on your insurance. I'm just saying, check it out. From what I get from the staff is this is brilliant because it gives them confidence. Lone workers, especially with the devices of a lone working device, have got something to make them feel more safe. And that's where we come in the staff safety element, because that's all we care about is staff safety. Thank you for watching the short video. Please continue to watch our videos, and if you've got a question, get in touch. You'd be very surprised what I get on direct message, um, especially on LinkedIn. So there must be some people having questions. Stay safe, whatever you're doing, and again, bye for now.